I'm in the cardiac intensive care unit at Children's Hospital Boston. This is Logan, He's born with critical cardiac disease and has undergone cardiac surgery. Fortunately, he's recovering very nicely. The cardiac intensive care unit is one of four intensive care units at Children's Hospital. We have 29 beds in this particular unit and we manage patients with very complex problems such as Logan. A very important function for us in the intensive care unit is to be able to make the right decisions at the right time for each patient. We rely on many monitors to help us understand and make decisions for Logan as he is recovering after surgery. We knew we had to find a means by which we could integrate all of this information. We needed a platform that was scalable and portable, an application that could go onto an iPad or smartphone that could be accessed remote to the bedside. And we've called it T3 because we want to track the trajectory of patients to trigger appropriate responses. The ability to capture, store and analyze the data to develop predictive algorithms for management is really, for us, the holy grail. And it moves us from being prescriptive in our management to being predictive, which is where we want to be. The benefits of T3 are first for the patient. We'll be able to change the management decisions and our treatment as we collect more data and information over time that will make our care more efficient, more cost effective. Children's Hospital is the ideal place to accomplish this because of a long history of technology, innovation, development. To get from concept to integration and uh, implementation has taken us just on two years. We plan to integrate and to implement T3 into our cardiac and medical surgical intensive care units in June of this year. It's web-based, it's fast, it allows to zoom in and out of information very quickly, annotate events and decisions. It has new features that have never been on any monitoring before in that we can take the information, integrate it, do calculations that tell us and give us better definition as to how well a patient such as Logan is progressing so that we can make decisions that will help Logan recover.